Hi Otter fans, I'm Katie Sauter, still YouTube and still wedding planning, still rocking that engineering nine to five, raise the roof, right? Okay, that's that's enough. <laughs> That's enough of that. Uh, I'm being silly, but we we don't talk about my engineering job here. It's just we just don't talk about that. We can yeah set that aside. But wedding planners do a lot behind the scenes, like uh, so much more than most people even realize. Um, I mean, honestly, a lot of people don't even really understand what a wedding planner does. However, they do a lot. They they do so much. But I saw this one post in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in for wedding planners, and I just had to share this with you because it, it it's a little nuts. These are some wild stories. Just buckle in, okay? And as always, if we fail to learn anything, we are giving it the big fat solder seal of failure. Don't forget to boop that little like button and give that wink as cute little subscribe at keep the PG for me, okay? Now we're gonna dive in. All right, let's move. What's the biggest hiccup you've tackled on the day of the wedding without? Out the couple ever noticing one person wrote the DJ having a panic attack and running and hiding in his car because his iPad wasn't working during the ceremony so I ended up looking in his folder downloading the songs to my phone and going to get him to play all the while the bride was in place waiting for me to release the bridal party no no what it's all someone else wrote having a panic attack oh no it's like you'd have to step in as the planner because i mean that's what we do we step in to save the day and you would have to put like step in and be like all right i hope no ads play um but here we are this is the situation so i'm just gonna plan to use my own phone for this now i'm not qualified i'm not qualified to do any of that so i would be like not my job description but I mean, a wedding planner and a coordinator's job description kind of is save the day. Um, <laughs> someone else wrote, I had the best man have a heart attack in my car, got him to the ER, got his parents, got them to the ER, and a couple had no idea until they got back from their honeymoon. What? My staff covered the event while I was handling all of that. <laughs> the next person wrote, the couple didn't notice the best man was gone. <laughs> Her response was, yes, they knew he wasn't feeling well and that I was driving him back to the hotel, but that's what they knew. They had no idea what happened and route to the hotel. Oh, oh, okay, moving. I, 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 I'm speechless. I'm speechless. That's, well, that planner saved that man's life. That's now part of her job description, saving lives. <laughs> the couple didn't know, that's nuts. Okay, another person wrote, I had a table light on fire because a kid was playing with a candle. No. Oh, this is like my worst nightmare. I put out the fire and changed out the linen, reset the table without the couple ever knowing. Damn, that's, that's, wow. Wow. Okay. Someone else wrote, the chupa completely falling over before the ceremony, then rounding up a team of 10 to put it back up before they noticed. That event was a slight nightmare, but <laughs> we did it. The couple was happy. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. Sounds like they somehow found out about it though. They must have. Um, but wow. That's crazy. Looking at this photo. Oh my gosh. That would, you would, you would want a team of 10. You'd be like, oh, everybody, we need it on this now, on the stat, stat, alarm bells going off. Gotta get the chupa up. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I'm sorry. I am not Jewish. Um, anyway, next story. We had a church ceremony and one of the guests passed out in the back pew. All three of us were in three different areas of the church and one of us called 911. One of us kept an eye on the couple at the altar and one of us stayed with the guest. Paramedics came through the back and I told them to be extremely quiet and do not cause a scene and under no circumstances turn on their sirens. The couple never knew anything. How do you not notice that that's happened? I mean, maybe they're just really absorbed, but that's incredible that that planner was able to do that so quietly. That's crazy. Another person wrote, the venue misplaced the napkins and instead of looking at their order form, the bouquet manager insisted that, or 
the bouquet manager. The banquet manager insisted that I was supposed to bring the napkins. There were no napkins anywhere on site and it was my fault. So I called every vendor I knew asking if they had 185 napkins in the couple's color palette, drove all over to pick them up to get them back to the venue. But for the sales manager to tell me that they should have the napkins somewhere here, they ordered them because they were providing them. Someone stuck them on an air vent and put a rolling food cart in front of them. Two upside down unhappy faces. Blur. Ugh. I feel that. I, I feel that on a deep level. I don't even. Oh, oh my. Another person wrote, Chef forgot to make an entree, the pasta. So we did plated salad service to buy 15 minutes while he cooked it. <laughs> the couple might have been like, huh, oh, I thought this was supposed to happen, but they're probably like, you know, in their own little zone and guests are never going to find out. That one's, that one's pretty innocent compared to the other ones. Someone finally wrote, I love this post. We all do so much that goes unseen. Proud of you all. I was like, aw. This is such a nice community to be a part of, you know? I think like that final thought is a really great point because wedding planners do so much to make sure that the day goes smoothly. Your coordinator, that's their whole job, no matter what happens. <laughs> At least I think that's what we learned today. I don't think any of these got the big fat solder seal of failure. If you can't afford a wedding planner or you want to plan it yourself, consider checking out my free timeline in the description below. It has everything you'll need to plan a wedding in 12 months, as well as a free wedding party mini guide that for when you want to have a wedding party, you know, fun things. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos.